Oh, it was a mirror entity. Sitting here trying to legitimize Sharknado and didn't even get to fucking cast anything to make the token. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, Liu Kang, he's got the parry. But you know what uh, Cabal has is a full screen go around the back yeah, x-ray. Yeah, fucking so. dash. <laughs> I don't know, man. As far as Kung Lao was super successful, the movie was great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like if you're if you're a Kung Lao fan and the most powerful guy in your head is the guy with the power of half, yeah, I love that. Yeah, because in the game, yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. That was not a faithful representation of Kung Lao. He's supposed to be like a joke. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Is they like totally legitimate, legitimate, legitimized him? Yeah. Words are hard. <laughs> Although I am a huge fan. Like I was talking about um, cutting things out, and uh, one of our friends, Batman, goes. Uh, Flawless victory fatality is baddest though, right? Mm -hmm. Like I said, sliced uh, liver, deli sliced liver. Yeah, freaking <laughs> god. Yeah, that random chick with the wings. Yeah, uh, she's a well. The good guys get a no-named character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I just hope they put Shiva in the next one. Yeah. I just want to say it onto the internet so that it's immortalized forever. Joe had possibly my favorite like riff that I've ever heard him say on a movie. It was like at the end of it, Shang Tsung goes, "No matter how many of my people you put in the ground." There will always be another to take his place. And Joe goes, he's right. You ever see how big the Mortal Kombat roster is? <laughs> I mean, I remember Mortal Kombat trilogy. Yeah. A lot of selectable characters in that game. Yeah. Yeah, that was back in the, like, you know, when they made games like that, where it was like, uh, we've been doing this game for ten years. Well, based on Natara, how... she appeared in one of the earlier 3D ones. Oh, that's why no one knows who she oh, is. Oh, <laughs> right. Natara. And I like I don't know I keep seeing posts on Facebook that are all just like Noob Cybot is going to be in the next Mortal Kombat and you're just like great <laughs> I mean yeah but we know Noob Cybot <laughs> like the question is is Kwai Lang but or I mean they had um what you call it they had all about the uh, the the Lin Kuei and they were run by Sub Zero who was straight up evil in this one mm -hmm. are we gonna have the Cyber Lin Kuei I hope so yeah. I mean, that was like the one redeeming factor of Annihilation with Cyrax. Yeah. Cyrax was always my favorite character until, again, I found the power of Hat. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like people who main Dan. Yeah, absolutely. Street Fighter. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Kaduken. Stands for less strong than Hadouken. Yeah. So far, I pitch... Yeah, okay. I pitch a Sun Titan and a Bane's Lair Angel. Bane's Lair. No, I can't remember the Bane character's name in the Batman comics. Slayer, not... You're thinking of another thing. Okay. Uh, Cyrax is the one with the Cyber Dreads? Yes. yes. Yep. Well, they all had Cyber Dreads. He's the yellow one. <laughs> yeah, all, all the Cyber Linkway yeah. had Cyber Dreads, but Cyrax had organic dreads beforehand. Mm -hmm. And didn't they make a cyber smoke, too? Like, wasn't there yes. a cyber smoke? Yes. You know what I want, though? Tilda Swinton as uh, Kronika. Solely because she already played a bald lady. <laughs> so. Yeah. Bald magic lady, even. Further, I'm going to go on record saying I like the original <laughs> Sonya better. Yeah. Just as far as hotness is concerned. I mean, the, oh, the, new, the new one is definitely attractive, and she's a better Sonya. But <laughs> I like the way that the other one looked. All right, I'm a little sick of sand. I'm just pissed she didn't rip anyone in half with her legs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she did some cool, like, she grabbed Kano with her legs, which were not quite as amazing Velcro as uh, they were in 9. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, she smacked said. No, I was super I mean, glad because... she won her death battle because she could rip people in half with her <laughs> legs. Yeah. And uh, Hellcaster mentions that Sector manages to store a hydraulic press in his chest. Oh, yep. <laughs> and I, he won his death battle because of that. And right? a missile launcher. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all the way. The fact that you could control the missile in the game. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's how the Cyber cyber Initiative in the Cyber Link Way got started. Like, yo, don't you wish you could store a hydraulic press and a missile launcher and these weird cyber net things? And, uh, yeah, acid net. Yeah. Net, trip your ass. Net, yeah. trip your ass. <laughs> it's strong. Um, You won that. I take the turn. And I start. You're going to love this. It's going to seem familiar. Beat up ass planes. Wait, there's more. Lantax. Land Alright, so go. A forest go. Do you have control more lands than me? No, you don't. 
it's it's turn two. We both have one. I draw a card. Emiria, the Sky Ruins. If you're trying to search for that card, it is not Emiria, and I say go. An island, and it is again your turn. My all-time favorite Lord of the Rings character, Tom Bombadil. <laughs> Planes. And victory chimes. No, unfortunately, Tom That's Bombadil got cut from this dike. Well, at least they're still Radagast. <laughs> yeah. Forest. And hopefully don't miss a land drop next turn. Go. <clears throat> How am I going to tax your lands? Anyways. If you don't have them, right? It's okay. I'll um not beast within. But anyways, planes. I don't know. Pilgrims found a way. That's the one. No wait. <laughs> um. What, what, what's this right here? Three and one. Sure, why not? Let's or four and one. We'll go with a victory chance, of course. And Audric Lunarch Marshall nice. and say go. I will cycle a shark typhoon and get a one-one flying shark. Cool. Like to see reptile in human form and do more than it did. Yeah, Joe was also mad that a uh, reptile. He says he got did dirty. I said, Nah, he's always been a jobber. Um, Adrix, good. I'm just happy he didn't do the crab dance. Uh, Adrix, see, I said, was upset he didn't go into crab yeah. form. You know? <laughs> yeah. If well, we're gonna went... make a ridiculous movie. Make it ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you went in there wanting the worst movie, and that's fair. I did. I was <laughs> like. Specifically, like, watching that movie going, I cannot wait to see how bad this is. Yeah. Uh, I play this Planes. And when you watch a movie like that, it's hard to meet up with that standard of awful. Yeah. For one and a white, I will... Leon and Shikari. Boy, I can't wait to draw on equipment. Um, uh, you got an Adrix and a one, shark. One flying shark. Okay. Um... Right. Like rain. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because they weren't enough for you in uh, in in Annihilation. <laughs> kills yes, rain. That's correct. Like, main character kills rain, or fucking Shao Kahn kills rain right off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> I want Ermac to come back and be like, I swear I took care of your arms. Something ha I'm confused. Yo, would you prefer he grows the metal arms or rips them off to reveal the stronger non-mechanical arms? I know. Brain implodes. <sighs> It's a paradox. That was the other thing. I was doing this a lot, and Joe was like, so you like the movie, right? <laughs> um, who was in the movie? Rained in MK11, but I don't remember if he did anything. He was, oh. He was in Annihilation. Fucking <laughs> Shao Kahn hits him with the hammer and knocks him into all the fire. Joe says he prefers Grow. I think James says he's really disappointed with Joker Molina. Dude, I fucking agree. I hate that like she walks around with constant scarring like she just got the mouth. Yeah, right. She was born with that. She came out of the test tube with that. Okay. Um... I will do... She came out of a test tube? I thought she was a vampire. And they just had a cool way of doing vampires. Yeah, she's like part Tarkatan, part clone of Kitana. Oh. MK2, as in the second movie. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, not MK11, that makes yeah. sense. Using a capital I as Roman numerals, that's fine. I, two. I got the Bellerin font on this thing, <laughs> it's hard to read. Because <laughs> I'm an intellectual lol, JK. I feel that. Um, I'm going to swing with Audric. I'll block with my okay. with my flying shark. And then say go. As you just cut through it with a chainsaw. During your turn, I untap my victory chance. Yeah, you do. There's a forest. Uh, you more lands than me yet? Cool card to play. And I have five. Damn. Uh, I have an Asika's Chariot, <laughs> which enters the battlefield and gets me two 2-2 two, two green cat creatures. So here are my four 2-2 two, two cats. Cool. And I can crew it for four, and whenever it attacks, I create a token that's a copy of a token I control. Cool. And it's your turn. Um, end of your turn. Would you get the goddamn land? <laughs> if you'd like to pay an additional two. Sure. Oh, yeah, Ward 2. Oh, my God. What even is Ward 2? I'll use the victory chimes. I plans. I go get a land. It's an island. And it's your turn. Yeah. Begin my turn. How many lands do you have out? Uh, six. Finally! I don't know. Um, I will search my library for up to three basic lands. Reveal them. One, 
two, three, put them in my hand, shuffle my library. I will move to my first main phase and tap two white mana for this Knight of the White Orchid. Nice. Search for more. Does it give it a play? Uh, you, have, you have more. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. I didn't five, play yeah. the one that I started for. Yeah, so. So you get the one. Tapped. Nope. Not even. Not even. What a night. Yeah, he's awesome. Oh, what a night. <laughs> ba, ba, da, da. Alrighty, alrighty. That's my two there. I control five planes at the moment. Nobody has haste, which is tragic. Um, you have a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, you have two 4-4s? Four, yeah. Okay. I have four 2-2s. Two four 2-2s. Two and I okay. can tap two of them to crew this 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Yeah, so you... Is crewing instant speed, or is that only on your turn? Instant speed. Okay. Go ahead. Nice. Island. Well, so There's another land for you. Yo, new Scorpion. I love that actor. He's great. New Raiden. He's got a Randy Newman voice, but he's fine. As an aside, people give Christopher Lambert shit for playing Raiden for some reason. That's dumb. Uh, new Shang Tsung. He's fine. I love the old guy. It's, the new guy's great, but the old guy's also great. So it's hard to not be like, oh, he's not <clears> as good. I play Nadrix. Makes sense. I tap two of my guys. Huh, I tap one of my guy and my commander. To crew my vehicle. Gotcha. Uh, and then I'll swing for four. And when he attacks, he makes a. Huh. I'll swing with these three two twos as well. And when he attacks, I make two more two two cats. A lot of cats happening. Yeah. Um, I'm sick of all these cats. Uh, let's let's disenchant that. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, but it's too late, you got your cats. Uh, they're crude, and I'm taking three two twos. Uh, but I got first strike, so, yeah, beginning of each combat. Oh. First strike, first strike, first strike. I thought that was only on your turn. I know, right? He's slightly better. I die. My cats die. No. Hell yeah. Since he saw the second movie. I know, right? Killed the guy off. In poor fashion with an iteration of Shao Kahn sporting the silliest looking hammer ever. I forget what the Hammer of Wrath looked like. You don't control more lands than me at this point. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> How does that happen? Oh my god. Because you didn't play a land last turn. Oh, I should have. What search, a waste. Search Good. For one with the knight. <laughs> Hell yeah. Land tax. There's a planes. There's a planes. There's a planes. Now we get to draw something that is three well, percent mm -hmm. less. Well, I've already drawn some cards. My problem with the new Mortal Kombat movie is the lack of friendships and animalities. <laughs> <laughs> like again, if we're going full fledged here, Nick those trying to nix. That's solid in a mono deck. Yeah, choose a color. Well, oh, I choose a color at the time. That's cool. Uh, two tap and devotion, which is going to be one, two, three, four. Noted. Um, in the meantime, you got two cats up. Two cats. Sure, I'll swing with all three of these, and they all have first strike. Um, I'll block your commander and take four. Okay. And so go. Don't forget the babalities. Oh, right. Oh my god, right, babalities. <laughs> Dude, I've maintained... How could I forget how stupid that is? I know, right? Feel your animality. <laughs> Did I mention on stream? I don't think I did. My second favorite character wasn't in it, but there was a picture of what was probably him. Kotal Khan? They're just like, oh, uh, uh, Sony Blade goes, some species we didn't know existed, and it shows what appears to be Kotal Khan. Oh, do I have to discard? Not yet. Hmm. <laughs> Looks forward to Voldo. Oh my god. They could do a Soul Calibur movie, but then we'd go, man, 
I only want highbrow intellectual shit like the Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter movies. Yeah, right. <laughs> As I understand it, in the storyline for six, the second most recent one, I think, uh, some dude is like, I need to find the girl who kidnapped my sister. It was the girl with the ring blade. And then he's working with Tira. Are uh, hula hoop are bladed hula hoops common in yeah, Sorkal right, like the world? Everyone has one. Yeah. Ooh, sack or a tr- Ooh, forget that. Worm coil engine. <laughs> yeah, worm coil engine. That would be good in this deck. And uh, it's not even white. And I swing at you for two two twos. I take four. Nice. Your turn. Take the turn. Uh have I I gave myself a missed land drop, and it's working out great. Uh do you have more than seven land? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hilarious. I'm gonna do it. Nice. One. Two. Three. Who would you cast as Valdo? I, I, mm, Adrian it's, Brody. Maybe. It's got to be an older guy, because Valdo's like 50 or 60. Yeah. Um, Valdo's Italian. Um, the guy who did Borat. So the guy who played Cabal. <laughs> <laughs> that guy who did Borat. Sasha Baron Cohen. I draw a card. It is a Plains. <laughs> awesome. Um... I'm. You have a six-six death toucher up. That's right. Yeah. Uh. I end my turn and discard some cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is two planes. I play a forest. I was thinking, who's the guy who did um, way back in the day, Batman, and then Birdman? Is that Michael a... Keaton? Yeah, Michael Keaton. He's got the gray hair and the, like, grizzledness, but I don't know if he's lanky, you know? I play a Toski. Cool. Yeah, there's nothing in this deck with Death Touch yeah, and a Worm a Coil Engine. I'm going to play a fucking spawning, death, spawning Kraken. It's just a much better oh, that play, motherfucker. I think. Yeah. Come on, Wrath of God. Um, and we'll attack. Um, Knight of the White Orchid in front of Worm Coil Engine. Lean and Shikari in front of Sacro Tribe Elder. I sack the Tribe Elder for a land. Oh, and first strike. So you got two twos? Mm hmm. Uh, Audric in front of one of them. Do you take two? I will take two. And I gain six. Alex gains six. And it's your turn. It's turn. All right. One day I'll keep track of this. You're at eight lands? Or you're at just ahead of me because you're just in a land like normal. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lands. I hit a land Three, drop six, seven, and then sack the Elder. Yeah. Eight lands. Planes. Planes. That's the problem with land tax. <laughs> Is that now that you don't need lands, that's all you'll draw. Yeah. Just spawning Kraken. But you can one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that was the seven planes. Yep. So next turn. Yeah, I, yeah. Amiria is excited for that. That was the plan to block a uh, knight. Um, and now no first strike, so that's even better. Um. Yeah, six six Kraken. Whenever. A Kraken or some other sea creatures. Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, In or combat serpent. damage to a player, you get a 9-9 nine, nine Kraken. Yes. <sighs> yeah, that's right. I was like, I need to put that in. Yeah. I mean, I can... You got a 6-6 six, six blocker. And a 2-2. Two, two. I could send my commander and hope you block the other one with your Kraken. Uh, yep. You can most certainly do that. 3, 6, 7... I end my turn and discard these three planeses.
It's a blighted woodland. It's your land ahead of me. Excellent. I'm going to play an Echoing Equation and turn all of my creatures into a spawning kraken. And then play Toski. And I swing with four 6-6 six, six krakens. That for each one that hits you, I make four krakens. Block one of them. So you take three. Twelve nine nines. Oh, that's well well over thirty four. Yep. <laughs> oh no, you get the nine nines. Yeah, I, I, I get take them. I get them out of battle. You take six, six by 12, four? Eighteen. Yeah, eighteen. Oh, I survived that. I go to sixteen. I draw three cards because of the Toski. And a coiling oracle. Reveals the top card of its land and enters the battlefield. And it's your turn. Sweet. Beginning of my upkeep, I return a Knight of the White Orchid. Yes! And search for a planes. <laughs> and then I go to land tax and search for more planes. Uh, planes comes in. Uh, one. Two. Three. I'm Adam. I want more planes. I'm Adam's deck. You can have more planes. <laughs> <laughs> like land tax has never worked. That like that well in any other deck that you play that runs white in a land tax. Yeah. I draw a card. Just a fucking planes. Thank God. <laughs> it's not gonna help me win, <laughs> but uh, one. Uh, sure, why not? One and two, and then that will be one, two, three, four. Super exciting. For crystalline giant. All right, you know what? I just tapped for, for colorless. Uh, cool. Beginning of combat on my turn. Choose a kind at random. Cool. Uh, so we're gonna roll ten. I'm gonna roll a d10, and then it's whatever. It's that order, and then I don't have a way to keep track of it. Sure, thank you. You have a d10. I do somewhere. Um, problem is I don't have handwriting. Uh, but I'm gonna die next turn, so it's fine. Um, I put a counter of that kind on him. That's the hard part. Uh, can I attack? You have all the kraken blocking 12, you want. Twelve nine nines, yeah. All right. Um, all right. We're gonna move to combat. Mm -hmm. I'm just counting on my planes. Five, six, seven. Okay. Let's roll a d10. It's going to be in this order. Seven. seven. Which will be... Uh, that goes one to ten. Mm -hmm. So plus plus one, vigilance, trample. So trample. Um, this signifies trample. That won't be confusing at all. <laughs> I'm not going to attack because I'm just going to lose. So I will discard these three planes as in Sego. Quandrix Campus. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, move to combat. Sweet. And swing with a bunch of guys. Sweet. All of my dudes have first strike and trample. Wow. I know. You got anyone who's going to die to first strike? No? No. Okay, I have 16 health, and those are all 9 This is 108 <laughs> That's That's 12 9-9 <laughs> yeah. Krakens? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Sweet, and sweet. a Toski. Oh, and the Toski. So you have to draw cards. Okay. Oh. Oh, my hand? No. It's planes. It's all planes? Yeah. That's why I was discarding all those planes. Oh, yeah. yeah. 